Welcome back to Let's Play The Signal, the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And as you can see, when you're playing in the, uh... in the bonus chapters, the, uh, evolving title screen defaults to Chapter 1's background. So in other words, we've come full circle! Back to the lighthouse! I was so thrown off by the intro, uh, of this series having a previously on on it. I had to throw out a, uh, an actual, you know, welcome to this intro that I did. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, uh, that clip from the, the credits video where I was going over the, uh, the statistics, that was actually from the cancelled, uh, uh, intro there. I did that before I started with, uh, the signal. I just decided that, well, I might as well use that footage since I don't talk about how I'm there for the DLC in that section. I just shoved it into a... What's it called? Uh... Oh, yes. Yeah, just found a jump cut and, uh, stuck that in there. Oh! Oh my god, that damage! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Sorry, rocket ship. Not the- oh, jeez! Holy shit, this one's fast! My brain! I need that! Shit! That didn't go well at all! As I was starting to say there, you know, I didn't even get to the, like, vital statistics, which I like to throw out there. Uh, let's see here. The original Alan Wake came out on May 14th, 2010. Uh, this first DLC chapter, The Signal, came out on July 27th, 2010. Uh, I'll also mention that... Well, this is an Xbox 360 game, and in that era, they were discovering the joys of, uh, used game sales and how much the publishers didn't like those. See, if, uh, you know, a store like EB Games sold a brand new copy of a game, uh, they got a cut, but most of the money went to the publisher, who then split it with a developer. You know, in turn, as occur accordance with their, uh, contract, whatever that might be. But, if you buy a used copy, legally, they don't have to do that, so EB Games keeps all of the money. This, you know, meant that, uh... Game stores were emphasizing buy, you know, buying used copies as much as the developers wanted to emphasize buying uh, new copies. And one of the ways the latter did that was by including codes with uh, your games. Just the normal versions of games. You know, not even like limited, co uh, limited edition content only found in the collector's edition or whatever. I'm talking about like you buy a copy of regular ass Alan Wake and if it was new, it would come with uh, a, a code that in this case was a, f a voucher to download the signal for free once it became available. Uh, you know, even back in the day, though, you still had to buy the writer. Uh, off the top of my head, the only other example I can remember, uh, you know, because we're all talking like ten years ago here, was that uh, Batman Arkham City from 2011. Uh, came with a new game code that, uh... Well, it unlocked Catwoman as a playable character. It's a fairly substantial portion of the game. And if you didn't, uh, get the code, you just didn't d play as Catwoman. Alright. Oh, 
fuck? It missed the tree! It missed the tree! Uh, why isn't that working? Is I pointing to the wrong object? Or the shimmer is just over overlapping that thing? The playground wakes pathetic memories of the water years and the contrary little board pretending he didn't miss his phone. God damn! So that's what it feels like to be a nail. The playground wakes pathetic memories of the wonder years and the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. It surged up and beat right down, clearing around its slides, eager to cave in his head. That's a very large slide. Can that stay down? I'm just saying. Nope! Shit, I didn't make it. Oh, hell! Oh, I forgot about the missile. God damn it. Okay, I don't have any flashbangs. I do need to reload the shotgun, though. I do, however, have some flares, so maybe I should just nuke these motherfuckers. Wake's pathetic memories of the wonder years of the contrary little boy pretending he didn't miss his father he never knew. It surged up and beat weight down, merry-go-rounds and slides eager to cave his head in. Fuck both of you! Gotcha now, you bastard! Oh! Get behind a tree! Oh, that was a good, good call. At least the climbing frame would never betray me. That's two. Fucking hell, this calls for a shout-out. Uh, let's see. Let me see. That's not what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Shout-out to Douchey Duke. You'll have to comment saying, Just found this channel. Starting to love it. Well, glad to have you on board, Duke. <laughs> and welcome to the crew. I don't know why I made that into a ship metaphor. You see, it's appropriate, because the light is the key. I hope the people manage to enjoy Deerfest, despite all the fucking missing people. Like, I get the feeling the town will go on normally, but people aren't going to want to talk about Deerfest 68. Because it's like, well, the sheriff, you know, the sheriff's deputies all vanished. And Ranger Rusty, Carl Stuckey from the gas station, and like half the staff at the uh, Cauldron Lake Lodge. This area was a, you know, pain in the ass the first time I came here. Can't imagine what it's going to be like now. Oh boy, this place is swimming in evil. Aww. I might leave the, uh... Oh, this is just that model, isn't it? The one from the dream. With the fucked up engine, the open door, and the open trunk. I'm thinking I might not go back at all to go try and find pages and stuff I missed. I might for the pages. I haven't quite made up my mind yet, but, uh... You know, canonically, Alan did miss a couple of them. Again, as I said before. 
The Bureau does get their hands on at least one thermos and at least one manuscript page. I was expecting a fight and for that thing to be one of the things trying to kill me, I'm just saying. I had uh, to find fuck. a key to get the door open. Oh, right. Probably best to change that. Motherfucker! Ah! I am not gonna get killed by the ass of a statue! Okay! Oh god! That's very pointy, don't do that! That sounds healthy. Oh! Oh god! Oh, they can't go around that way. Where's the head? That's no, not the head. Did I get the head? Oh boy! Oh boy, this is even worse than they possessed the truck in the real world. Oh fuck. At least that thing just tried to drive over me. Oh. Oh good, the darkness turned the concept of opening that door into a key, then turned the key into a truck, and then turned the truck into a series of missiles. Outstanding. Of course, it couldn't take these, because as everyone knows, fuel was sent by God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Uh, hi, Sarah. I'm gonna give Pastor Howard a piece of my mind about this lock. Oh, I told him to get it fixed. Alan unlocked the door with the memory of I Sarah the opening open. the door. Run for it. Interesting. Oh god damn, that's not a page? Man. Like it says special is it? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe there isn't a manuscript out here. That'd be really disappointing to me. I mean, they came up with a way to have Alan write a manuscript for American Night Night Where? Tom? Yeah, they came up with a way for Alan to uh, write a script for American Nightmare so he could collect manuscript pages, and that, it... ...involved, uh... Yeah, sorry, I just, just completely destroyed my train of thought. Uh... Oh, yes, yes, that involved Alan writing an episode for a TV show that hadn't been on the air in years in-universe. Barry Wheeler, ladies and gentlemen. Never one in between. <laughs> Barry Wheeler, the literary agent with a constant ailment, the frantic sidekick with the hectic rhetoric, the owner of the most fashionable jacket ever made, and the uh, author of the indispensable guide to would-be agents everywhere, Blood from a Rock, when the goose starts gold bricking. Presents a new collection of short fiction by Alan Wake, included are classics like Errand Boy, as well as numerous mortifyingly clumsy early works buried deep in the disappeared writer's files. Never intended for publication? That's not the Wheeler way! Get yours now! <laughs> uh, I feel like Barry would like that. He found the me cutout to be really funny, so surely. Uh -oh. I hear a clock. Was this all the way on the ground before? Because I don't think it was.
Okay, I don't think I missed anything except for that ammo I can't pick up. I do want to check on the wording of this, though. Mortifyingly clumsy early works. Yeah, I know that feeling. I can't even look at my videos from uh, years ago. The world was... It was changing. Twisting. Out of control. It was too big on the inside. He couldn't see the ceiling. Something was moving in there. He was lost. He couldn't find the exit. Asshole. Well, yes, but, um, Alan, I want you to think about that statement for a second. And maybe do some, you know, uh, inner reflection? I'm just, I'm just saying. What's up with that? That's not a door. Where did it go? Ah, oh, yes, yeah. shout out to Torik00, who had a comment on the subject of multiple Allens, saying, I love how casual Tom is about the sudden doppelganger. Just, that's your friend's problem. I bet they can handle him. You just keep going that way. <laughs> oh, God. This isn't weird at all. The oh. shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger or I got smaller. The signal was going haywire. I would have to find my way out of here on my own. Oh, I remember this! I was really annoyed about this. Okay, the word blast there triggers an explosion. Like a fire shoots out of these ovens when you hit those things. And, uh, if I remember correctly, I found out after the fact that there was an achievement for uh, activating all of them. Which, I, whereas I only activated the ones I needed. Well, because there was something standing in front of them. Pretty sure each stove can only be used once, though. Or each oven. Up yours, buddy! Whoa! That's a big one. My spine. I need that. To do things. Okay, fuck that. I can still hear the ticking, and I couldn't hear it downstairs, so... What the hell is that? Very quiet. It couldn't be in here. Is there any way to go around the sides? Oh, I can't go out anymore. Fuck. God damn it, Alan, just move. The other churches I've been to, the pews don't go all the way to the walls, and this is why. clock like out there Wait a minute, what is that? No, it's not a word. I thought it might be letters I couldn't make out. Huh. It's 
Seriously though, where the fuck would it be? I suppose it's possible it's in the maze beneath me. Okay. The shifts were getting more severe. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger or I got smaller. The signal was going haywire. I would have to find my way out of here on my own. Careful not to activate those yet. I'm pretty sure I'll try to only do that once I've uh, killed everybody. Although, if this is an infinite spawning area, this is going to be very interesting. You dumbass! He just walked right into that! Oh, no! Well, I, took, I think I took one of them with me. Oh, and there's the timer. I missed that. <clears throat> Embarrassing. The shifts were getting more uh -huh. severe. No. I wasn't sure if the place got bigger or I got smaller. Okay. The <clears throat> signal was going haywire. I would have to find my way out of here on my own. All the color just leached out of the image, and I don't know why. Yeah, this is kind of what I was expecting underneath the church the first time, like a fucking proper catacombs, you know? Like, these archways practically went down to the floor the first time. Nope. Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Signal the DLC chapter for Alan Wake. Again! When we continue exploring, try to find our way to the signal, and try desperately to stay alive. Oh, and one date I didn't mention. Uh, Alan Wake Remastered was released on October 5th, 2021. So, you know, they didn't even line those dates up. Like, if, if they'd waited, you know, seven days, they could have, uh... <laughs> They could have said, oh, we released it as the anniversary of the signal. You know, like, I think I said it way before, but you know, just in case, I will say it again. I feel like this game was meant to come out on the 10th anniversary in 2020, and then the pandemic happened and slowed down production enough that it got delayed by a year and change. Ah, well, say la vie. If I say and change, I guess it would have had to come out in May for the anniversary. Huh. So like a year and a half then. But yes, I see I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Stay in the light.